What's going on YouTube? We are back with some more YouTube videos, obviously. Today, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We are actually doing a product review. So the people over at the Van Bow Group was nice enough to provide the product that I'll be reviewing today. That being said, because it is a sponsored video, does that mean I'm not able to give my full thoughts and opinions? So please keep that in mind as we go forward through this video. It is sponsored. However, I am free to give my thoughts and opinions and recommendations on whether or not you should check out this chair or some of their other products. Gaming chairs. There is a lot on the market and they're for different shapes and sizes of people. The reason this one enters interested me is because this was designed for people who are a little bit bigger and taller. Now to give you guys a little bit of perspective, I am 6'2", 6 6'2 2, 6 2 half. I'm about 190 something pounds. I may not look it, but I am a little wide, but I am certainly tall. And this chair actually does provide some of the comfort that I'm looking for in a gaming chair. However, we're going to go over the full pros and cons of the chair, including the price, the assembly, and whether or not you should be checking out this chair. First thing I want to talk about is the packaging and the assembly. Now, packaging is actually pretty well done. It's in a pretty hefty box. All the pieces laid in flat, so it was pretty easy to get out the separate pieces and lay them out and get everything out of the boxes. It was really well packaged, and the memory foam that they use or the foam that they have for it, it actually keeps the part secure, so there wasn't any tearing or ripping or any of the leather stuff, which is actually pretty high-quality leather, so that's actually really good to know. Now, this does take a while to assemble. It took me about 30 minutes, give or take, 30, 35 minutes, and that's because I got a couple of parts wrong. However, I would recommend if you have two people working on this, that would be the best way to go as there are a couple of parts that require someone to hold it and then someone to twist it, especially some of the nuts and bolts that they have on it. Overall, it's not too hard and the instruction manual is pretty straightforward as to what parts connect to what. They even actually give you some grip gloves to help you like grip the leather and stuff like that so you don't rip it with your hands or anything like that. So again, assembly doesn't take too long and there is a couple of difficult parts, mainly once you get the chair assembly and trying to get in the arm pieces and things like that. That took the most time for me to get together, but everything else is pretty simple as you can see here. The parts go in pretty quick, pretty self-explanatory. They give you all the tools that are needed, including an L-shaped tool to screw in all of the uh, nuts and stuff like that come with it. So don't worry about that. Overall, I would say assembly is fairly straightforward, pretty simple. I would recommend having a two-man party for it though, as again, there are parts to where you can't see it here, but my brother actually had to hold certain pieces to help me put in certain pieces together, just because it was a little bit hard to screw in or hold something together type. So again, assembly is actually pretty straightforward, really well done. Packaging was actually pretty quick. I think when I uh, got the order in, it came in in about four to five days, so about a week, give or take. So shipping was actually pretty quick. The caveat that I have with the shipping is that I didn't get a tracking label, and that's because maybe this was a sponsored chair and not necessarily a purchase chair so please be sure to check and see that you do get a shipping label that way you can kind of track and see what happens when you get the chair because the chair arrived at my doorstep and almost tripped over it because I didn't know it was outside so keep that in mind uh, do definitely make sure you get a shipping label but again shipping was pretty quick uh, for a gaming chair about four to five business days so roughly about a week give or take but yeah assembly was quick shipping was pretty quick no real complaints there moving on from the assembly to the aesthetics because the chair may be comfortable but we all know what this is about we all know this this is a fashion game I and mean, you want to look your best. In terms of the visual design of the chair, I actually like it a lot. I'm a big fan of a black and gold aesthetic, and this is what this chair provides. Now, the company also does provide other aesthetics such as a full pink chair, black and red, red and black, blue and black, etc., etc. The design is really nice, and because it's made out of actual leather, it actually holds up really well, too. So aesthetically, I think it's one of the nicer chairs that you can buy, especially if you are looking for a gaming chair with a little bit of style. I will say though, I wish it had a little bit more of a gold trim. However, still with the little bit of gold trim that it has not only on the seat, but on the back of the chair as well, I think it looks really good. I think it will accompany a lot of people's rooms and designs no matter what style that you go for. So with all that being said about how it looks, is the chair comfortable? As someone who sits in front of his computer a lot due to YouTube editing and streaming, I can happily report that yes, this chair is indeed comfortable and I can highly recommend it, but not without some caveats, cause nothing is perfect. So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna do this more along the lines of a sandwich. We're gonna talk about something good, we're gonna talk about something bad, and then we're gonna end up with something good. So the good thing about the chair, overall the chair is comfortable. I sit in this chair for long periods of time and I have no problems with the back support or anything like that. I can sit in this chair when I'm editing videos, recording, streaming, or just doing any other day-to-day -day stuff. I find this chair very comfortable and I find a lot of the functionality that it does provide very useful in the day-to-day -day life that I do. A downside to the chair, and this is the fault of my own, is that the model that I chose, which was the 8247 model, which will be linked in the description down below, this particular model doesn't come with a clip-on headrest or a clip-on back support. Uh, it does have a back support, however, it's a standalone back support, which just doesn't clip onto the back of the chair. So whenever you do move to get up and go to the bathroom or grab something to drink or etc., that back support will move. 
so it's kind of pointless to use it as a back support. A good alternative that I found for is to use it as an extra cushion, that way it slightly raises your body up and gives you a little bit more back support. And I do wish there was a pillow support for the head or the back of the neck. Um, not that it's not uncomfortable, however, it just seems like it's a very missed opportunity, especially seeing that this is more one of the more expensive models, but it doesn't come with the headrest like all of the other models do in this category. So that is something to be wary of if you choose to pick this particular style of model. I would definitely say look into one, maybe one of the other models that maybe aren't as tall, but do come with that back support and that pillow support, especially since those are clip-ons and you can adjust them slightly without having to worry about them moving or sliding up and down. And so another positive is that I do like the armrest. I wasn't exactly sure what I would do with them at first, but they have been actually useful to be able to slide them in and out or to slide them back and forth and move them and adjust them. On my old chair, I could not adjust the armrest, so they was always at a certain height, which is actually a problem when I sit down at my computer desk. Sometimes I need to slide them up or down. I need to move them to do certain tasks. And with this chair, I can do that, which is very, very useful to me. So I really did like that feature a lot. And it's actually very easy to use. There's three separate buttons to do the functionalities. One of them is a button to slide them in and out. The other one is a button to turn them in and out. And then there's a side button which moves the, uh, the armrest up and down. So very good functionality there. And I like the overall weight of the chair, meaning that because it's made with actual metal and not hard plastic, I really do feel like it's going to support me as I'm sitting down. I don't have to worry about you know, leaning a certain way and feel like the bottom of the support is going to break because that has happened before in one of the other gaming chairs that I used to have. The bottom part was made out of plastic and because I would have to lean a certain way to reach something, it would not support the weight or the lean. But this chair, I don't have to worry about that. It's very sturdy, very tough, and I have not had any issues with it whatsoever. And as mentioned in the title of the actual chair and in the descriptions, this is meant for bigger and heavier people. Now, while I am a taller person, I do have a couple of heavy set friends. While they weren't comfortable being on camera, they allowed me to actually test the chair with them to see if it really held up the support and they felt comfortable in it. And four out of the five people that sat in the chair felt really comfortable that are a little bit more heavier than me. Uh, the fifth person, unfortunately, did not like the um, arm burst not being able to adjust a little bit wider because he is a wider person. However, that is something that, you know, is to be expected sometimes depending on your overall size but this chair is meant to be for taller and heavier people and for me for someone who's taller and a couple of other friends who are a little bit bigger the chair is comfortable it's nice it fits them really well it supports their weight and it supports their height and that's exactly what you know someone like me is looking for in a chair something that supports my overall height because a lot of the chairs that i do have or that i did use i'm taller when i sit down right i'm a little bit taller so sometimes my back kind of hangs over the edge and it's not very comfortable or I have to slouch down in order to get that comfort and even then slouching is not really something that you want to do when sitting in the chair you want to have a chair that gives you that full back support so that's what I like about this particular brand and this particular product and in the case of accidents or something happens the company does provide a one-year warranty with every purchase and a free return within 30 days things happen either when it's through shipping or you have a new animal such as a cat that wants to use your chair as an arm post things like that happen so it's really nice that the company is able to cover certain things like that within the first year and that free 30-day return policy no questions asked so that's definitely something to consider if you're considering purchasing a chair Right, so at the end of the day, after it's all said and done, what do I think about this chair? I think it's comfortable. I think it's really nice, and for someone who is on the taller side, this provides a lot of the back support that I've been looking for, that I've been needing for a while, because unfortunately, I have bad posture because I slouch a lot. However, this chair has been helping with that for the past couple of days. So special thanks to the Van Bro Group for sponsoring this video and helping me get this chair. I do appreciate that. If you want to pick yourself up a chair, either from this particular model or some of all the models that they have available on the shop, there is a discount code down below i believe it is bj15 and you can also click on the link down below if you don't want to put in the coupon code that gives you 15 percent off any item that is on sale right now so definitely go and check that out and that actually does help support the channel as well if you do decide to purchase a gaming chair if you like the video please go ahead and like the video if you're new here subscribe hit that bell notification icon and i'll see you guys in the next video and once again thank you to the vanbo group for sponsoring this video i really do appreciate it take care